everybody, this is Praxis and I'm back on site today with Josh. Josh is doing puttying and sanding, although not at the moment, so that we can have a little bit of quiet. And I am finishing up this wall. As you can see, there's the first contiguous run of boards that goes right above the doors all the way down there. I've left all the nails kind of somewhat sticking up uh, until I got all the boards on there because I wanted to just make sure everything looked good before I finally set the nails in. When they're sticking out a little bit, it's easy to just grab them and pull them out reposition things. Uh, once they're set, it's a little bit harder and uh, it's certainly harder to do it cleanly without damaging the board at all. So I've left uh, all the, uh, the nails out so that I can, you know, now that it looks good, I can sink them all. Uh, separately, I wanted to talk about the fact that, uh, you know, I haven't mentioned in earlier videos because it's just been sort of accumulating over time, but my uh, arm here is a little sore. It's uh, been bugging me for about a month or so. Uh, it's the tricep muscle, the like swinging the hammer muscle. Uh, and I, uh, I've just been trying to like uh, kind of, you know, in my normal life, not use it as much as I can. It's awful when I'm driving and River's in the back seat of the car and I need to hand him something. That's really horrible. So I try to limit how much I'm doing that kind of thing. But it's really the hammering muscle. So I've been trying to do like a little bit more hammering, flicking of the wrist and stuff uh, and, and really limiting, and I'm not gonna hold a hammer for it, when you have to hammer upwards, it's really awkward. The reason I bring it up is that just if you do a project like this and you're going and going and going and not taking breaks for healing, you know, injuries can accumulate. And that's true of building a house, that's true in a disaster situation. I think a lot of times people, uh, you know, have these kind of visions of, you know, the way that they would perform in a disaster sort of uh, setting. And like, you know, if there's a hurricane or a flood or something like that, and you gotta move and you gotta do all this kind of stuff. Uh, you know, if your body's not used to that and suddenly you're jumping yourself into a level of physical activity and exertion that you're not used to, you know, we know that people get, uh, you know, heart attacks and things like that when there's, you know, big snowstorms and there's uh, shoveling. But, you know, there's also just body injuries. You know, if, you, if you're doing something repetitively over and over, it can accumulate and it can kind of get into your body. That's one of the uh, big reasons why it's important to just stay physically fit and in shape and do stuff during your regular life, you know, and, and don't just think that, you know, I've got this plan. If anything ever happens someday, I'll, you know, soldier up, uh, what's it, soldier on or man up or cowboy up or whatever people say about it. You know, uh, you know that's great mentally, but your body is also a component in your mind body uh, sort of uh, uh, makeup there. So uh, it's important to kind of keep your body as fit as you at least hope that your mind is. So uh, as the video goes out, I just figured I'd finish up these and illustrate exactly why my arm's been really bothering me. Thanks for watching.